uh, in this section let me just do some one more example with some b class or a class kind of examples with some more uh, complex range i'll use let's say there is an address called 150 dot 12 dot uh, 125 dot 10 with a slash value of 20 uh, 22 let's let's check 22 okay now you want to find the range same thing you need to find you want to find uh, what is the submit mask the same numbers i can say whatever whatever we calculated we want to find the same thing submit mask host address broadcast uh, host per subnet broadcast ID, network ID, everything exactly the same thing okay so i want to find the same thing for this address now it's a b class address by seeing itself we can see here Let's try to figure out the first three answers first and then we'll come back to the network ID and the broadcast ID. So first subnet mask, again to find the subnet mask we need to take slash 22. So we can write 8 plus 8 plus, 8 plus 8 16, 16 plus 6, it becomes 22 and the last portion will be 0. So the subnet mask will be 255.255.252.0, that is the subnet mask. And then to find how many hosts per subnet, and the formula we know to the power of h minus 2 minus 2 is for network id in the broadcast ID. so to find the h value from 32 if i subtract 22 i get 10 this is my h value this is my host bits right so i'm subtracting from total bits minus network bits to get my host bits right so to the power of 10 so the formula is 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 so it will be 1024 minus 2 so it will be 1022 this is my valid host per subnet this is your answer this is my second answer and the third thing if you want to find how many subnets we get so if you want to find how many subnets we get we need to take 2 to the power of n value whereas n is your converted network bits now in my scenario the slash value is 26 now right now I'm using this is a B class example. So in the B class there are 16 default network bits and 6 are converted network bits. Right? It's a it's a B class, right? 150 comes in between the range of B class. So in the B class there are 16 network bits by default and there are 6 converted bits. So I'm going to take to the power of 6, to the power of 6, 64 subnets. If I divide a B class network in, in the size of 1024, I get 64 subnets. Okay, so total you get 65,536 addresses. So mostly the calculation up to here, it is going to be the same like what we did in the previous examples with a simple C class, only the size varies. Now let us try to figure out what will be the network ID and the broadcast ID. So to find the network ID and the broadcast ID, we need to figure out the range. Now writing the range, you should be very good in writing the range here. Now the range always written based on the to the power of H value. Right now the H value is 10. Why? Because from 32, if I subtract this 22, I get 10. So to the power of 10. So the size of the network is 1024 is the size of the network. So if you remember in the B class, whenever you get a size of big networks, we use 2 to the power of H divided by 256. So 1024 divided by 256, what we get? We get how many blocks? 4 blocks of addresses. So which means we need to write multiples of 4. So the first portion will be 0, .0 .0, and the next portion will be 4.0 and we need to write multiples of 4, right? So the multiples of 4, 4 times 40. Still we need to go because very long, we need to reach 125. So we can skip some addresses. I can write plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, 80.0. And then similarly, if you go on write 120.0, I'm writing the nearest multiple of 4. And now we need to write 124.0 and then 128.0. Now we need to get, we need to reach to 125. So it will be 124.02. 127.255 so this is the range in this range my address is going to come okay because of the size now this is my network id and this is my broadcast ID. so 
now our network id and the broadcast id will be so the network id will be 150.12.12.124.0 is the network id and the broadcast id will be 150.12.127.255 for both slash file is 22 slash file is 22 so this is how we calculate the network id and the broadcast id the only difference between the previous example and this example is uh, when you have a bigger network sizes we know we know how to write them in the blocks and we increment in the third portion because of the size of the network here and that's how we need to calculate so the more you keep on practicing these examples the more you're going to master this so i got some exercises for you uh, to to do this submitting i got some exercises like you need to find the same thing for submit mask write down the submit mask and find the range and how many valid host addresses and how many subnets some examples you just keep on practicing these examples to just uh, master these submitting questions and apart from that if you if you want to try to understand some submitting questions so if you just go to google.com and if you find some submitting questions here submitting even you find some submitting calculators also for calculations just go to google and find some submitting questions you will find different kinds of submitting questions probably you can go through with any one of these websites and you can find some submitting questions and you can answer that let's say if you go to this website you'll find some what is a valid host range and what is the ip address range like this so now to answer this you should be very good now he's asking you what is the valid host range of the ip address this one he's asking you the range so the range always written based on 2 to the power of h value 2 to the power of h value is how much h value is how much here it is 20 sorry slash value is 20 here so the h value is 12 so 12 means 2 to the power of 12 the size of the network is how much 2 to the power of 12 is 4096 so 4096 means how many blocks 16 blocks so 16 blocks means we need to, the range comes from 0.0 16.0 32.0 48.0 like that it will go on but he's asking you 172 26 255 so it's a very long you know it's almost on the end so i'll better if you start from the bottom 250 if you're coming from bottom you need to subtract from 256 so the last change will be 240.0 to 255 dot 255 so the answer is uh, the answer will be from the range will be from 172 to 26 the answer will be 172 uh, 26 240.0 is the network id and 255.255 is the broadcast id let me just reveal the answer you can see this is the valid range 240.0 which means you cannot use a network id so the valid address will be 240.1 and the answer will be 255.255 so 255 to 50 you cannot use because it's a broadcast ID so we can use the valid host address you can see the question says valid host address the addresses which you can assign to any device so one address before so similar way this is how the questions will be asked a little bit more tricky uh, the main part is to understand the question so similar way you can just go with the next question like you are designing some subnets uh, you want 40 subnets something like that so similar way you can go ahead and you can figure out you can go through with some submitting questions just keep practicing couple of questions every day to understand how the questions are asked so when you go through with these questions it will give some idea on how the questions can be asked in your certification exams so whatever the questions i have given you here it is more like a straightforward question so it will only help you to calculate but when you go through with those online questions probably you will understand you will you will see how the questions can be asked in your certification exams